In today's video, I am going to be decorating all of my daily pages for the month of September, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. So I'm going to be back in my catch-all and I am going to be decorating for the month of September. So I do not do the monthly plan with me's or anything because I kind of fill them out as I go. As things pop up in August that I know it's going to happen in September, I'll just write it on the calendar. So it really is nothing for me to set up when it actually comes around to September because a lot of the stuff is already on my calendar. But I do like to go ahead and set up the entire month because all I really do is just throw on some stickers to decorate. This is a super functional planner for me. I gotta find a day that I can like kind of show because some of the stuff, I'll just show like one of this. Um, like I use this super functionally to time block, to track things and stuff like that. And then I do work to do's and personal to do's. So I don't have a whole bunch of time or a whole bunch of space to decorate the other areas. So that kind of limits me to the box. I have some room at the top and the bottom that I can throw some decor down if I want to. Um, but yeah, so that's why I kind of go ahead and just decorate for the whole month. Plus, I just don't have time. I don't have time throughout the month to decorate it at the beginning of each week because I have a lot of planners. And this has turned out to work so well for me. So I'm going to do it again. Obviously, because there are going to be 28 spreads to decorate, I will be speeding this video up in parts. Um, so don't worry, it shouldn't be too long, fingers crossed. Um, but I will kind of go over some of my thought processes um, along the way. So the main feature of the decorating and these spreads is going to be printable stickers. Um, Martina Sticker Company is releasing their autumn release on Friday, August the 30th. And I do have some of them that I've already printed out. There are more that I have yet to print out. Um, but I printed out the ones that I knew I wanted to use this month in my planner. I'm also going to be using some older um, stickers from Martina Sticker Company, as well as some other stickers that I found online that I also printed. So I'll get into that. But I do want to show you some of the stickers that are going to be released on Friday. Again, this is some of them, not all of them, because Martina Sticker Company has a tendency to release a lot of sheets at one time. So I definitely head to the website to check out everything that's been released. And you'll see some of the other stickers I'll be using that was part of older releases. So you'll probably want to check those out as well. And like I said, I printed these, which means you can get them either in tangible versions, which means they will be mailed to you or in printable versions. And if you get them in tangible, you do get the option of whether or not you wanted it printed on clear or matte sticker paper, matte white sticker paper, um, which is also like a really nice option. Everything I have here... Most of what I have here, I just print it on white because it's just easier for me to use in this particular planner. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I do have a discount code, which is AGWP15, which will save you 15% and also get you my cute little travel themed freebie. All right, so with that said, let's just go ahead. Isn't this gorgeous? So all of these are hand drawn. So these are all unique stickers that are hand drawn by Ame and her husband, Francisco. Isn't this pretty? So every, now here lately, I think the past three or four releases, there has been an oil painting that they have released on a sticker sheet. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. I'll be using this so you'll see how, how it looks on paper. And then we have pumpkins for fall. Now there is going to be another release coming up that's going to be more Halloween-ish. So I'm sure there'll be some more fall. Um, but here we go. Look, I put these next to each other because they just complement each other so well. Um, and you can see the little fillers. There are always fillers on the sticker sheets. I call them fillers, but like sparkles or whatever. This time they're little hearts. How cute is that? And then you already saw this when I was taking my time talking about that. <laughs> so then we have the lovely green autumn blooms. Look how pretty that is. And then we have the lovely brown autumn blooms. So a lot of these you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but all of these have like details. Like each of the blooms have details. So you have like plaid, you have like the, the hearts in here, you have like a heart in there. So it's very, very, like they all have like similar themes, but they're all different and unique. How like, how cool is that? 
And then we have a whole sheet of sparkles. Now this one I um, printed out on clear. And then y'all, I did print out a couple of sheets of this. This is washi strips in the color palette. So this is the color palette, the entire color palette. And see how it's like kiss cut? So of course, if you were printing this, you could print this on either clear or um, matte white paper. I chose matte white. And the paper that I use, um, I got it off Amazon. It's online labels. I do have it linked down in my description box under my Amazon links. And then look, y'all, they finally did an entire sheet of the black lace. So they had a washi sheet set that I think was spring and it had a whole bunch of different washi strips on it. And then they had a few lace ones. So now they have a whole sheet of the lace. I use this all the time. And then I did another sheet that um, I did in clear. This is lined roses. I did this one in clear because I think this might be really cool to like layer like half on scrapbook paper, half off of scrapbook paper because you'll be able to see through it. That's why I did it. So I will not be using this one today. I have, I have ideas for this one. And then of course we have the quote sheet. So this is the finding myself quotes. I'll just hold it here so that way you guys can kind of pause to see them all. I love their quotes. And this time they did, some of this is in Ame's writing and then some of it is um, in um, typewriter style. I love that look of the half and half. I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's gonna look really, really pretty in the planner. Same thing here. This is Life's Change. All of the quotes are always so motivational. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this in this planner or on one of my other ones. Y'all know I use the quotes <laughs> all the time with other and pretty much a lot of my other spreads, like especially my fitness and wellness planner. I use it a lot in that planner. Um, I pretty much use them on all my planners. And then there are going to be boxes and pretty much all of these color palettes here. I just printed the sage green one so that way you guys can kind of see um, the patterns on them. They are the plaid patterns. Like I said, they're going to have boxes that are going to be in all of these color palettes. So all of the pink shades. So you get like the two of like the pink shades, two of the greenish shades, and then two of the brownish shades, which they're not titled that. <laughs> um, but like this one is sage green. Um, so yeah, you can definitely check out the site for all of it. There's also... Um, bullet points or dots and there's a couple of more like lined florals so definitely check it out for the entire collection i will have everything printed at some point and you'll be seeing them all throughout but today we're going to use these i'm also going to be using i pulled some of these these are the blooms that i gave her the color palette and then some of the um some of the pattern ideas um, for them to create. And this was, I think, part of, it was like February or March. It might've been like the March release. I can't remember. All right, there. <laughs> and then we have some more from the spring release that I had. This is from last year's fall release, I believe. And this is also from that February release. And then this is also an older one. Um, so I pulled these out because this is another printable sticker that I got. I got this from Creative Fabrica. I had a, um, one month membership and I printed off a whole bunch of stickers. I just thought these were so cool. So I think what I'm gonna do is the first half of the month, I'm gonna use these in combination with some of these florals, maybe some other florals. And then the second half of the month, I'm gonna use all of these like new stickers <laughs> um, that I just printed out because that's when like fall kind of happens. And I also have some wrong, wrong PET tape, some of the fall ones, cause I might add some of the girls and combinations with some of the florals. So we'll see. I'm trying to debate on how I'm going to date this. All right. So I decided to go with a stamp this time. Now the stamp just has the month the day and the year on it so it doesn't have the day of the week um but I got it from Joanne it's Heidi Swap so I did that with like the tan color ink just because I feel like it'll kind of go with everything um so I did I stamped all the entire month and now I'm ready to go so I just decided to start out with the green blooms and pairing that with some fall looking girls from the Wrong Wrong PET tape. And then I decided to go ahead and add the quotes to this planner. I thought they kind of went well and I was just in a real stickery mood. So I wanted to kind of fill up a lot of the area um, with stickers. You can see here I'm trying to find girls that are kind of wearing the color scheme. So the browns, the greens. 
um, pretty much just the browns and the greens. Um, and I think it worked really well. They kind of worked really well with those particular blooms. And now I'm just kind of adding washi to bring some interest down to the bottom. Now I'm going with the lovely autumn brown blooms. And now there are going to be plenty of wrong, wrong girls that will go with this particular sticker set. So I had no problem matching this up. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm kind of going with the same concept. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, probably for the majority of these two weeks in my planner. So this is the second half of the month. I decided to start here first because I really wanted to use the new florals first. And then I was going to move back to the front half of the month to use the rest. So I'm just going to kind of um, go a little silent for a moment and um, let you kind of just watch the process. So when I was looking for fallish girls on the wrong wrong PET tape, I came across this one girl that had the cheetah print. So I went back through my printed stickers from Martina Sticker Company and pulled out this Wild Blooms sticker sheet that I printed from last month. So it was part of the last month's release and it worked perfectly and it still gives you that fallish vibe so it still fits even though you know I was trying to stick to the new stickers for the second half of the month um I just I had to they just worked so well and they're definitely giving me the fall vibe so I had to dedicate these two pages to those blooms So now that I've finished decorating the second half of the month, I am backtracking and starting with the beginning of the month and using those printable girl stickers or their sassy girls um, that I printed from Creative Fabrica. And I am pairing them with various stickers that I also printed from Martina Sticker Companies from past releases. Some of them were, well, most of them were from earlier this year. There are a few that are from a last year's releases and you'll see a one sticker sheet make an appearance again that's from the latest release um but yeah so i i had a good time just trying to like pair some of the various like florals and blooms from martina sticker company with these stickers as well um so yeah um that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i'm going to be doing for these first two weeks of september as far as decorating it um so i'll just be checking back in once i'm done
All right, guys, there we go. I'm gonna do a quick flip. Um, as a reminder, the first two weeks, I use these girl stickers, these sassy girl stickers that I got from Creative Fabrica. That is kind of a general website where like artists put their images on there. You can sign up for a membership and get like, I think like nine or 10 downloads a month. Um, I had done a free pre, uh, a free trial to see if I liked it. Um, I have not paid for it because I couldn't really find much else I really wanted. I'm kind of in sticker overload, so I didn't need as much, but I might go back to it in the future. Um, but yeah, so I printed all of these images as part of my free trial. So if you're good about canceling subscriptions and you want to try the free trial, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, so yeah, and then I paired it with florals from a previous release from Martina's Sticker Company. Same thing here as well as here but i did use the quotes from the new release as well as the washi strip here and then these florals are actually from an older release so even though the color scheme um kind of is similar to one of the current themes um this is from a release from earlier in the year this one is from this current release but this is from the previous release <laughs> And then I thought that the oil paintings were a good transition between how I was separating like non-fall with fall. And pretty much the only difference is the girls I use are different or definitely very fallish. But there we go here. And now here is where I did the Ron Ron PET tape mixed in with some of the new release stickers from Martina's Sticker Company. Loved how these turned out. So pretty. This is the only exception. These blooms are part of the last release, but you know, that inspired me. And there we go. That was 28 spread, y'all. Can you believe it? That was a lot of work. That took me a long time. Um, hopefully I can edit this and speed it up so it would hopefully be a decent size video that won't bore you guys too much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please press that like button. If you have yet to subscribe, I hope you would consider subscribing. That's all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, or night. Until next time, bye.